This is Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and in this lesson, Taylor Swift song, The Best Day. While I show you this incredibly well-written song, I'm going to show you some very basic concepts, some standard chords, some standard chord alterations, how to use a capo, and a really good strumming pattern. So, here we go. Let's start off with a capo. Now, what this is, is a pitch changer for your guitar. Uh, rather than retuning using the tuning keys, we're going to slip this on the first fret, which is where Miss Swift uses it. And that's going to raise the whole, everything we play on it is going to be a half a step higher. One fret higher, if you will. And she performs the song in C sharp, so now when we play a regular C chord, it's going to actually ring C sharp. And that's the whole point is, so you can change keys without having to change your chords. Okay, we're going to start off on the C chord, which is what the song does. First finger goes on the second string, first fret, counting up from the capo. Middle finger goes on the fourth string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the fifth string, third fret. We're going to play five strings. Now to play the next chord, which is an A minor 7, which sounds kind of complicated, but it's not, all you're going to do is pick up your ring finger and again play five strings. And then to go from that to the F, which you do through most of the song, all you're going to do is lay your first finger over, so it gets the first two strings on the first fret, middle finger goes to the third string on the second fret, your ring finger gets the fourth string on the third fret. You play four strings. And then to go to the G chord, you're going to take these two fingers and not change position, but just shift them over so that they're on the sixth string and the fifth string. So your ring finger now is on the sixth string, third fret, middle finger is on the fifth string, second fret, and your pinky touches the first string on the third fret. You play all six strings. And that's, well, almost all the chords that you need. On the very end of the song, we're going to end it on a C9. Now play your regular C chord. And then your pinky is going to play the second string on the third fret. Which gives it that neat dreamy sound at the end. The strumming pattern for the best day starts out with the usual down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep the steady beat, that's the most important thing. But we're going to leave out the and of one. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Without getting overly complicated, that's the basic rhythm for it. You're just leaving off the upstroke on one. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and... Notice my hand still comes up, I'm just not striking the strings. At the beginning of the recorded version, there's an opening lick that's pretty easy to do, and it's nice to throw in when you're playing solo acoustic. You're going to put your first finger across the first two strings on the first fret, and then your ring finger on the second string, third fret. Play both of them, and then do a pull-off. You don't have to hit the E string, but it's kind of did on accident. It sounds nice. And then play the second string open, and then go straight to your C chord. This is Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play The Best Day by Taylor Swift. Don't forget to click the links below for tabs and charts, and don't forget to look around the site for other songs that you might want to learn to play. And thank you for watching.